Hi, my name is uh, Michael. I'd like to introduce you uh, the RCCG machine that I have uh, invented and come up with. Uh, it's in, used in conjunction with the Zykoi uh, sensors and measuring unit. Um, I found when I first bought the Zykoi, I loved the product, um, but I noticed it took well over 20 to 30 minutes just to get your uh, basic measurements to put into that unit. Uh, so I was basically brainstorming and uh, I said there's got to be an easier way of doing this and then hence this product was born. In this video we're going to show you everything that's included with the RCCG machine kit. It comes in this plastic carrying case that you can take anywhere with you whether it be your favorite flying site or your workshop. When you first open the case up, you will notice that you have some laminated instruction manuals. You will have a set of four stainless steel metric and standard ruler set. You also have an aluminum yardstick, both in metric and standard. And then in the case, you will have two Allen wrenches for the assembly. You have the main rail kit, which all have leveling adjusting feet with a bubble level, so you can level it. There are three of the Zykoi sensor pads. There is a CG line marker reference. There will also be a leading edge marker that comes with the rod. And last but not least, you will have the tail dragger adapter plate. And then in our next segment, we will assemble the RCCG machine. When you first start out, you will grab the main gear platform. You will then grab the main rail and your five millimeter wrench. And if you just put underneath, pop out the bubble level, you will see an Allen screw in the middle of that. When you put this together, it's just like a T-square, put it down tight, you're going to tighten that center screw all the way, just so it's snug, you don't need to over tighten it, just so it's snug, so everything is nice and tight, you're going to take your bubbling level, stick it right back in the middle, then you're going to take your extension plate, you're going to slide it in with two grooves, you're going to take your four millimeter Allen wrench and then you're going to tighten the screws on both sides and again just snug them up so snug you don't need to go over tight that way you make sure that everything is nice and solid for the plates you're going to do this in an order you can you'll take your CG line marker here, which should go in the main rail first. You will have your leading edge plate with a rod. Then you're going to make sure your washer stays on the top part of the plate. That's your bottom. And you'll notice that the nut will actually slide in this groove. So when you turn it counterclockwise or clockwise, it'll tighten and loosen the rod so you can slide it. Then with the markings leading edge towards the front, this will come in so you can slide this up. Then your next is your main nose gill pad. And you'll see I just put markers on here just for reference point to make it easier for you. Then, you will have the two main gear sensor pads. And then this will be for the tail dragger adapter plate, which you will see in another video. And then in the next video, you will see exactly how everything works with the RCCG machine.
Welcome back to the RCCG machine, uh, fully assembled. Uh, what we'll start out with is making sure that our platform is level with a bubble level. If you need to adjust it, use the leveling feet, of course, to level it where you need to be. The next thing we're going to do is why I included uh, the ruler for you is on your main landing gear, you can take this and then set it center to center on your main landing gear and in this case it's uh, 220 millimeters this is in millimeters now so when you're setting your main gear here just subtract the zero so if this is at 220 then we're going to actually set this to 22 22 and you're also going by the mark on the leading edge of this same as you're going to be doing for these for your marks. Um, also make sure you get your uh, Zykoi units in there and make sure that they are firmly set into the pucks for yourself. The next measurement will be taken from your your main landing gear center to the center of your nose landing gear. In this case, it's 460 millimeters. So again, we're gonna take out the zero because we're transferring to centimeters. So this is now going to be 46. Centimeters, so your leading edge is at 46 and that becomes the center of your, your gear. And then you'll have to adjust this to move this out of the way. Then carefully grab your plane, bring it up, set your gear down on it, and just watch your pucks and make sure everything is centered. You may have to tweak it a little bit for the gear. That's not uncommon. Just make sure that everything is exactly centered and lined up on your Zykoi uh, puck. Now, on this particular aircraft, uh, from our leading edge, we're actually 25 millimeters back from the leading edge. So what you're going to do is take the leading edge plate, you're going to take this up to where it touches your, your wing, and again, if you turn it counterclockwise, it loosens, clockwise, it tightens, and then do it just so it touches your leading edge, wherever your manufacturer tells you where you need to start from your measurement. And the reason why I gave you the other rulers is that you can take this, so whatever this one particular is, this is what's 55 millimeters, you can take that from your leading edge to the front of the CG line on the other one, and then that becomes your uh, secondary mark you need. So right here is the first mark that you need. Right here in this case, it's... Uh, 46, so it would be 460 millimeters. That's your first measurement for your Zykoi. The second one is your CG line. So in this case, on this plank, because it's smaller, is going to be uh, 100, 104 millimeters uh, distance, and that is your second measurement for the Zykoi. And that's your two measurements that you need, and then you are done. Welcome back. Today on the RCCG machine we are showing another example. Today we have a 1.6 scale F-15 turbine jet. Remember to use your yardstick that comes with the aircraft. So we had already got our measurements for both the main and the nose wheel uh, measurements and set our uh, sensor pads where they needed to be. And again if you need to make sure you use a secondary person to help you lift the aircraft if need be to set it on there safely. The next step is going to be, now that we have the set on our sensors, this is our leading edge marker that is adjustable. So what we need to do in this case is take this and slide it up carefully and slowly and then do your twist clockwise so it just touches your leading edge of your wing and get it set right where it needs to be. And then that becomes, transfers our mark down to this leading edge front here. Now on this particular aircraft it says it's seven inches from the leading edge back for the CG. So one of the other included rulers that I gave you, and this is why I gave them to you, so this one is seven inches so we're going to take this 
and then set that edge right up to the seven inch mark. And now the marks up in the front here actually tell us what that next measurement is. So in this case, it's actually seven millimeters back, or in this case, 14 millimeters back when you're entering it into the Zykoi. And then that becomes your second measurement. So again, your first one for the Zykoi is your distance. In this case, it's 55. And then our second measurement that's going in is the 14 millimeters. And then stay tuned for another example that we'll be showing you next. Welcome back to another sample of the RCCG machine. Today we have a small jet turbine Avante uh, that we'll be demoing for you. Obviously we already have everything set to go on the sensors for you. So same thing as before. Uh, we're going to take our leading edge and just slowly, carefully put it up to the leading edge and take your time with this so you know you're just touching so your measurements are accurate. All right. And in this case, for this Avante, this happens to be 145 millimeters back from the leading edge. So again, use your included ruler. Now in this case, this actually falls behind the center line of your main gear. And in this case, this is actually six millimeters back from the center line of the main gear. So you'll have to do that accordingly into your Zykoi unit. And in the next episode, we're actually going to show you an example of a tail dragger and how that works. Thank you for watching the RCCG machine. This concludes our video segment on examples that you can do with your different aircraft. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the link below. Happy flying!